Hi everyone. This week uh, we're doing your love, uh, you know, like weekly love reading in connection with Venus in retrograde. Okay. So now, what is in Venus in retrograde? What or what it asks of us? Okay. I'm not gonna explain to you what it is, but it's what is asking of us. Now, Venus in retrograde is about self-realization. Okay. There are things that we um, we have worked on in our past. Like relationship, you know, can be in your job, career, passion, all these things that we have done in the past that we need um, to, to not to answer to, like put it into ourselves. Again, this is Venus in Aries, so this is about you being you. Are you being you? That's basically the question. And if it's still applicable, meaning are you applying it because you really intend to be or you're just stuck and not taking it on you outwardly it's a little bit complicated but it's really not it's really just about you and are you still applying what why you started it and why you're doing it in the first place now this is not asking for you to take action this is asking you to focus within and once you have done that realization yes I am who I am oh, is that a song <laughs> I am who I am because I you know I don't go serious right I am who I am and is it really what I want okay as far as beauty in within not beauty beauty but you guys understand me you know Venus right okay so I'm not gonna make it more complicated than that um, thank you guys for you know for for watching this weekly reading and here we go for each time hi Sagittarius <laughs> welcome to my channel <laughs> sorry my sister is still talking you know, we we do this together. <laughs> okay, so Sagittarius, we're doing your weekly love reading in connection with Venus in retrograde. Okay, we're gonna have two cards: Steampunk, okay, and um, Crystal Charo, only major arcana. The first card from the Steampunk is asking, okay, who are you? That is the first question, and then. Okay, we're gonna have two cards from the Crystal Tarot, which is gonna be two house, second house, Venus, okay, the things that you need to focus on, okay. Um, with this reading, um, the single couple in a relationship will follow right after this part. So stay tuned, don't be impatient like a Sagittarius. You're probably talking on the phone already or Googling something right now. <laughs> focus. Who are you, Sag? Ooh, this is nice, Sag. This is you, okay? This is equivalent to, I'm just saying, the world, okay? Because you have all the, you know, the theatrics, the... <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot, I shouldn't feed in your energy because it shouldn't be. It's unethical, I'm a Sagittarius, very, very bad. But yeah, this is you having the whole world in your hand. Now, okay, I'm going to turn a bit. Who you are, that's who you are. Venus is in retrograde, it's asking you, since you have this knowledge, you have this, this energy, you have this manifestation, to focus on why you have it in the first place. Why? Where did it start? And where is it going to? Okay, so you have to focus on that part. Don't get too excited. Or is it really me I'm talking to? Very unethical, this kind of reader. I'm kidding. Let's see. The Fool. Shuffle this again, let's see. Next, second card. Hi priest. Oh, that is so That is very nice. Okay. So, you have here who you are. You have the whole world in your hands. Manifestation, magic, control, you know. I don't want to use the word control, but you have that energy that is exuding in in different ways that you're affecting people's life. There. Okay, that's who you are, okay? So you are very vital, whoever you're communicating with, you are in part of their life, you know, a best friend, a lover, um, you know, a brother, a sister, a cousin, whoever you are. You can be the mechanic down the corner. You affect people's lives and focus why you're affecting, okay? Now, wow, that's interesting. If there's a mechanic watching me, eh? <laughs> the fool asking you, okay, why did you, why aren't you taking the leap of faith? All right, why? You have all these things and yet you don't trust. And you have the high priest. The high priest, well, it, you know, masculine energy. But the high priest, it's not a high priestess where it's within. High priestess is outwards. They manifest outwardly, earthly manifestation. Okay, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, I can't be mistaken. This is my channel. 
Anyhow, High Priest is over here because it's asking you why you're not taking the leap of faith of doing what you're meant to be, to touch people's lives, to connect with the people that you are intended to connect with. Why? It's not asking you to take the action. It's asking you focus. You have that ability. You have that gift. You have that wisdom. And yet you don't use it towards the direction that people can be helped. Okay? Now, how does this connect to your relationship? Single. Okay? You have what it takes to be the one. I'm not saying because I'm a Sag. But I'm saying whoever you are. You have the ability to be a good person, okay? And yet, okay, you feel that you don't deserve it because you're, you know, it's like, oh, you have doubts about yourself. This is asking you why you have that self-doubt. Why? You know, when you know you have it inside you, focus on that energy, okay? And then it's asking you to, yes, go and take it out of yourself. Bring it out, okay, for the single. In a relationship, okay, I see here that if you are in a relationship, okay, you have everything in the world that, you know, in a mag very magical way, you know, it cannot, you know, it's not about finances, but the relationship that you have, it's so ideal, okay? And it's asking you to focus, why is it very ideal? What is the foundation that it started? Where did it really, really originated from, okay? Is it physical attraction? Is it the communication, the spiritual connection? Go to that, okay? And then you will find that moment that you took a chance on this person. And it's so magical because the moment you found that is when you took a chance, okay? So they might not be the best looking one, Sagittarius, and yet you took a chance on this person. Isn't it interesting? Now, my name is Sal. I'll see you guys again next week. This is your weekly love reading.